new era at Ohio State, but the same old expectations remain. What's up? This is another episode of Barton Makes Picks. That's Barton Simmons. I'm Trey Scott. We're going to go game by game, week by week, Barton. We're going to tell everybody what's in store for Ohio State as Ryan Day and Justin Fields get a new thing going. Yeah, but new coach, but same roster, I means same talent level. Ohio State still had top five recruiting classes each of the last few years. So, you know, the idea that there's going to be some drop off now that Urban Meyer's gone, I I'm going to push back on that a little bit. We'll see what the schedule holds. I mean, I just got to let it speak to me. I don't know where it's going to take me, um, but I, I think this is a pretty good Ohio State team. Well, let's get started in week one against Lane Kiffin's Florida Atlantic Owls. Uh, as much as I'd love to give some, some more talking about Lane Kiffin and, and that FAU team, I, I think this is an easy W. Uh, week two, what we got? All right. Well, week two is Cincinnati, which is no easy game. Yeah, I guess not. For most teams, it's certainly not. I mean, that's a team that beat UCLA last year. This is not UCLA, though. This is Ohio State. Um, I know that uh, Luke Fickle is buddied up with the Ohio State program, but uh, not going to be a good day for him. I think it's 2-0. 2-0 at Indiana. The last time they were there, it was a close one for like three quarters. J.K. Dobbins broke out. There. Yeah, Indiana has a way of making these things close, uh, at least for a little while. But there's just, at some point, the wave of talent overcomes that program in these kind of games. I don't know what happens in the second, third, or fourth quarter, but Ohio State wins. So you're 3-0, Miami, Ohio, 4-0. All right, big one. Game day might be here at Nebraska. Yeah, and here we are. And at this point in the season, Justin Fields uh, is, I think we're getting a feel for you know, what, what the is ceiling it? is, yeah. right? And uh, I think he'll improve as the season approaches. You know, he's had 17 starts in his career, high school, college, um, so this is not a guy that comes in just sort of fresh out the box uh, that you can expect to, to, for things to click immediately. Um, but I think they will as he gets more reps. Uh, everyone's circling this game. Everyone's saying this is a trap game. When everyone's saying it's a trap game, it stops being a trap game. I think Ohio State is prepared for it, goes into Lincoln and wins. Yeah, this doesn't feel like the game they would lose, you know, the, the, the marquee road game at least. 5-0, and uh, Michigan State now. Yeah, a, a team that likes to win ugly. Uh, they're, they're tough. They're physical. I think Ohio State, um, this is one of those games where they got to have the run game in place, too. Yeah. J.K. Dobbins, this is a little bit of a comeback year for him. Uh, and defensively, uh, they've got to show some toughness. Uh, in the. Uh, yeah, but, but I think this is a – I just don't believe in Michigan State to be on that level from a talent standpoint. I'm going to go with Ohio State here. 6-0, and bye week at Northwestern rematch of the Big Ten title game from last year. Yeah, no, and no one's circling this game as a trap game. No. You know, everyone's talking about and, – and, hey, Northwestern's picked me and picked at the bottom of the Big Ten West with all these other teams cycling up. Um, so, you know, overlooking Northwestern, we got up Wisconsin next week. Not so fast. Uh, on the roads – Probably not a crazy environment. Not a lot of reason to get motivated for this one. Northwestern has a way of sneaking up on You're teams joking. these moments. Northwestern with the upset. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So that's three straight years in which Ohio State gets trapped on the road against a – oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so six and one, you're reeling. You're kind of reeling right now. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Let's play Wisconsin. Okay. Well, here, bounce back game. You're back in the shoe. Uh, and – Again, I think you reassert yourself right here for Ohio State. You're one of the most dominant teams in the country, and you win this game handily. 7-1, bye week. Nice time for a bye. Maryland's up next. Okay, Maryland's uh, not a lot coming back. A lot of injuries already, uh, and they just don't have it. Okay, yeah. all right, great. 8-1 and one at Rutgers. Rutgers does not have it either. We're going to go 9-1, and one, set up a big game against Penn State. Yeah, and hey, Penn State, I think, is a team people are sleeping on in this division because they don't have Trace McSorley. Uh, they don't have maybe the faces we're used to seeing on the offensive side of the ball, but the defense is ridiculous. Could be elite. Um, very losable game here. But I think with this being at home, understanding all their goals are still in front of them, I think Justin Fields makes enough plays. Maybe this is where we see Garrett Wilson um, have that really that, that kind of iconic moment where he's the next wide receiver up yep. in, the, in that room, uh, Ohio State wins. All right, 10-1, the game at Michigan. They won 14 of the last 15. Yeah, seven this, straight. This, this keeps your playoff hopes alive. This keeps everything alive. This is your season right here. It's just interesting to me that a lot of people are picking Michigan. Yeah. I mean, they just, they just lost Devin Bush and Chase Winovich and Rashawn Gary, and, but Urban Meyer's gone, and so I guess the streak's going to end here. Uh, You're hamming it up. I mean, you don't win seven straight games 
against the, your rival and then just all of a sudden come back down to earth. Again, this is the same roster that's used to winning this game. I think Ohio State runs it back again, wins, heading to the Big Ten Championship. All right, yeah, well, we're not done there. Big win, 11-1, headed to the Big Ten title game. You've got them playing Iowa out of the Big Ten West. Yeah, and I, I, this is, there's, there's going to be some debate shows going on right about now with who gets in with what. Yeah. You know, can, can Oklahoma's probably looking good right now. Maybe we're getting a second SEC team in. It's a resume week. Maybe Utah's at 11-1 at this point. I don't know. So I think they got to win. They got to win handily, and I think they do. They win uh, against Iowa in dominating fashion. Great. 12-1. and one, We ask you to sketch out the playoff. You've got them playing Alabama in the semifinal as the four seed. Bama's the one seed. They did it a few years ago. Yeah, I mean, at some point, Justin Fields has got to flinch uh, again. I think it's a lot to ask for him to be in this point as his first year as a starter in college football. Um, I, I think Alabama here heading up against Tua with a motivated team is a bit of a buzzsaw. Uh, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, really high-scoring game. Take the over, but Alabama wins. Solid season. That's a great season for Ohio. Year one. Back in the playoff, yeah. Justin Fields, the whole party comes back next year. Yeah, I think you live with that.